A seminal man has vanished and his family is desperately trying to find him tonight. Robert Doolin, who has physical and mental disabilities, was last seen leaving the library at St. Petersburg College eight days ago. Our Chris Trankman is there with the very latest on the search. Chris? Well, Robert Doolin depends on federal benefits for income. He was here meeting with a congressional aide applying for new benefits. Now, surveillance video showed him leaving this building and walking out to 113th Street. And no one has seen him since. His family describes Robert Doolin as a friendly guy with no fear of strangers. He loves to talk. You know, he'll walk up to somebody and talk about, you know, anything and just uh, try to bond with them. Doolin's brother Tom has been frantically trying to locate Robert, who vanished December 4th after leaving Congressman Bill Young's office. The 58-year-old suffered brain damage and facial injuries after a car crash in 1978, and it's those features that might help him stand out. The scar on his face, the recessed right eye, uh, the, the, uh, the fast but stiff walk that he has, um, Anything that you see, call the sheriff's office. Doolin was staying at the Pine Tree Manor Assisted Living Facility in Seminole and often walked the busy streets from the center to his relative's house. His brother can't imagine him being a target. He does not have any money. He doesn't have any valuables. There, there's, there, there's no reasonable reason that I can think of why somebody would have taken him. But Doolin was taking medications to help prevent seizures and panic attacks. And the family is worried that after so many days without care, he could be very ill. Robert, come home. It's almost Christmas. You know, whatever it takes, come home so we can have Christmas. You know we love you. Now, HIPAA laws would prevent a psychiatric facility from saying if Robert was located there. The family's hopeful maybe he is being treated somewhere. There's also the more sinister possibility that he was abducted. Either way, they're hoping that somebody saw him and can lead them to Robert before it's too late. We're live in Seminole. Chris Trankman, ABC Action.